Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be importing the weapons from Blender to Unity. Very simple, very easy, shouldn't be too long. I'm sorry that this video is a bit late, I am a bit sick, got some kind of a flu. I don't know how, I don't usually get sick. But I got my cup of tea and I think we're ready to do this. It's still hot. Right, so we want to go to our FBX folder and since it's a bit full at the moment, I will create a new folder inside of this one and call it Weapons. And here I will just import my weapon FBX files. I've got my double barrel shotgun here, I've got my M4, I've got M9 pistol and I've got a sniper rifle. First off, as always, I just want to set uh, the scale of the objects to match the players scale so we can clearly see that this is a bit too big so what I'll do I'll go to the FBX file and set the scale factor to 0 0.3 for the M4 I will do 0 0.3 also should probably work and for the M9 0 0.3 also and the sniper rifle 0 0.3 maybe so set the scale factor to match your players arms I will not import the animations at the moment since I don't think we're going to use them yet. Now I want to just create prefabs from them. So it's basically the same as you did with uh, anything else with the trees, buildings, everything. Except um, I don't think we're going, yeah, we're not going to add colliders since we don't need them. So basically I'll do the materials. I've got the wood material right here and then I get the black material I guess for this. And that's basically it. So go to the prefabs and I will create a new folder again. Call this one weapons. And then I'll just drag the double barrel shotgun in here. And that will work fine. Go back to the FBX files, weapons, M4. What I can do in the moment is just attach these to um, our weapon holder and I technically would be able to carry them but it definitely wouldn't look good. You see if I equip it or if I just place it in the weapon holder and move you can see that I can have it in my hand. I can run around but the animations are all, all wrong and uh, I can kind of punch with it which is not good. So in the next few episodes we'll be implementing the rest of the animations for the weapons and how to equip and uh, unequip them which will be a bit complicated if you're new to that but I'll try to explain it as, as good as I can. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, I'm sorry it's a bit short, it's kind of a dumb video to make but I'm a bit sick and I didn't want to leave the channel empty. If you enjoyed be sure to leave a like, if this helped you also leave a like. Comment down below if you have any ideas, subscribe, go follow me on my social media or support me on my Patreon. There's links to that in the description and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.